Hello student. So uh, let's start our discussion. So in previous tutorial uh, we have discussed the features of pandas. So in this tutorial uh, we will discuss uh, how pandas will be useful in programming. So uh, we will uh, know this by applying it. Okay so we will start with the practical. So if you want to import any module into the python okay then uh, we can import it like this import pandas now here uh, whenever you are uh, importing any library or any module okay it is better you create an alias of that uh, module okay like this import pandas spd so whenever in future if you want to require uh, or if you want to use any library function of panda okay we can uh, address that function using pd and dot okay so uh, otherwise what will happen everywhere uh, you have to write pandas so uh, clear with this so uh, panda library uh, is implemented uh, using numpy okay so it used the uh, numpy library so while working with uh, pandas we will also use the numpy so import numpy is np okay so it is not mandatory that uh, every time you must uh, create the alias of the uh, any module okay so if you want to use the module name then also you can but for conveniency we will uh, use the um, alias so we will execute it that's it now uh, let's start with the very simple example so most of time whenever uh, you will uh, uh, try to get the data set from the internet okay you will get the data set in form of a csv file so uh, today we will focus on csv file how to read data from the uh, csv file now more data type we will uh, discuss later on but uh, similar to this uh, you can also uh, use or you can also read the uh, different data file or data set so uh, let's start the discussion uh, for storing any data set we required one variable ds okay ds is equals to pd dot and if you will press tab okay so it will show you some suggestion okay so let's say pd dot read underscore csv so we will read data set into ds variable clear with this okay here you can see uh, we are getting the suggestion so here is the list of all the file for example uh, read clipboard csv file excel feather fwf gbq hdf html file then json file or then uh, percute pickle says spss sql query query table stata table option so various files you can read into the panda using read function okay so here we will use the read uh, csv file now here just for uh, example uh, whatever data set we will use i will download the data set from uh, uci data set repository okay so just simply go to the google and type uci data set repository okay and uh, go to the website and uh, let's say uh, we want to download the uh, this data set let's say artificial characters rather than this let's go with some uh, normal data set let me tell you that uh, how, what is meaning of this data set this data set will uh, tell that uh, which uh, which type of data are there into the data set then uh, for which uh, purpose or for performing which task this data set is created for classification or recommended system okay then the regression uh, so uh, this is actually part of uh, data science so that we will discuss whenever we will uh, learn uh, keras libraries then uh, type of the attribute categorical integer real okay so that also we will discuss whenever we will uh, go with the data science then instance means how many number of rows are there 
okay then attribute it represent the how many number of columns are there okay so instances are represented using uh, row okay and uh, attributes are represented using column and then there is here okay so if you want to retrieve the latest sample data set then uh, simply uh, sort it and then uh, you will get it yes so you can download any data set from here okay so uh, just uh, let me give you an example uh, bias correction of uh, let's go with some classification data set let's say by concentration classes data set okay so if you will click on this then it will give us some description okay then click on data folder okay so uh, then uh, here you can see there is a csv file so uh, this csv file we will use as a data set so you have to download that csv file okay and uh, from home folder you have to upload that csv file okay so here already i have uploaded some data set for example uh, air quality then uh, bias correction okay then uh, coursera data set is there then summer olympic med uh, medalist so uh, lots of different data sets are available with us okay clear with this so uh, let's start our discussion that uh, how to read the uh, data set so here we will try to read the coursera data set so coursera dot csv okay so coursera dot csv here it is okay if you try to open it then uh, it will look like this here you can see meaning of csv is comma separated value clear with this okay so uh, each row will specify some attribute and uh, as you can see in the file attribute will be separated using comma clear with this so for example this row is having first attribute as some number then second uh, second attribute as some string then third is as a uh, string uh, then fourth is uh, so again string then next is uh, integer or oh, sorry float then uh, next is uh, let's say string and uh, last one is also string so uh, uh, string uh, or you can say uh, here if you look at the title then this is a course title then course organization then course certificate type then course rating then uh, course difficulty course student enrolled so it may be possible that uh, whatever data set you may download in uh, in, in any instance uh, some of the attribute might be missing or in any row some column might be absent so uh, let's see let's start with this so let's read this uh, file data set equals to panda dot read csv execute it okay so uh, what is the error which which we are getting file uh, course error okay okay so there is a mistake in spelling mm, spelling is uh, c o u r s e course error c o u r s e coursera yes so now it is read properly let's try to execute it yes here you can see so this will show us some there is first column that is unname or it might be course id then the second column is uh, let's say course title course organization then course certificate type then course rating course difficulty okay how many students have enrolled into that course okay so uh, how it will display it will uh, pandas library will display first some row okay for example 1 2 3 and 4 row then this do represent the continuation of data and then it will uh, display some last uh, la last row or some few uh, some few or some more few last rows okay so uh, whatever data set you have read if you want to see it then simply uh, type the name of the data set and uh, press enter now let us just try to understand that whenever uh, uh, we will work with this series of tutorial which termino terminologies we are going to use here uh, we will use two terminologies okay uh, index and uh, columns so uh, this represent the index 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay 4 5 like uh, total how many rows are there 891 rows okay so 
this uh, rows we will represent it using index or it can be represented using x is 0 x is 0 okay and this column will be represented as a column and uh, it will be represented using x is equals to 1 okay so x is equals to 1 so let me write it in column so row will be represented x is 0 okay row or you can say index while column will be represented as a x is 1 clear with this okay so let's move forward uh, so i hope you are clear with this so this row represent the index and uh, this represent the column and rest of the things in this are the data set so this is index column and all the remaining portion is data set now if any uh, value is missing into the data set okay then uh, it will be represented okay let's say if this value is not there okay saint uh, petersburg state university at that time it will be represented using n n okay so uh, n n means uh, not number